Since 1985, when Frank Thomas and Ollie Johnston first released their book, The Illusion of Life, Disney Animation, it has been and will be one of the most important and relevant books on the guide to making animation. In it, it tells us that there are 12 principles that guide animators to create either the realistic or appealing animation, and these principles will always be relevant for animation and more. The first is squash and stretch. This principle is all about showing the realism of an object by having it be affected by gravity, weight, and motion. Much science goes into animation. For example, a ball would slowly bounce to a stop when dropped because gravity pulls it down, but the kinetic energy brings it back up. Next is anticipation. An object will make a motion that will suggest or help its next motion. This makes it more realistic and subtly appealing to the audience. Connected with squash and stretch, a character, a ball in this case, would squash before jumping so to be able to have the energy to jump. Third is staging. This is important so to follow what the animators or writers want the audience to see. Some slight motion of an object can instantly catch their eye, meaning they can focus on what's most important. Number four is two ways of drawing or creating the animation, straight ahead and pose to pose. Straight ahead is creating each image on every keyframe to get precision on getting the right sequence and more realistic movements. Pose to pose is similar, but instead create the image at the start and end and then fill in some of the in-between in which gives a more dramatic effect. Follow through and overlapping is the opposite of anticipation as it is the motion that is the cause of a previous motion. Take a pendulum swing. It will continue to swing past the middle because of kinetic energy. This also helps to prevent sudden stops and jarring. Next is slow in and out. Unless the character is similar to Superman, most characters or objects will need to start slow, maybe speed up, but then slow down. This can be seen in the pendulum fall slow, speed up, then slow back down when it reaches the peak. Seventh is arcs. As the laws of physics say, most objects follow an arc or a path when they're moving. It can be shown simply as a character jumping over a gap. Secondary action is number eight. This means that when the primary object is or was in motion, the secondary will emphasize that motion. A character jumping is the primary, and if it has a tail, that is the secondary action, which is moving in accordance with the character. It is all about timing. An object in motion has to move in the right time, otherwise it's not believable. Depending on the situation, it can be fast or slow. A character walking in the right step and speed will justify what they are doing in that situation. Although exaggeration might not be realistic, and too much realism can be boring, and instead with the exaggeration it can add humour or remind the audience it is just animation. Next is solid drawing. This principle is to make sure that the object is a solid, or three-dimensional, and therefore pose as needed, with the right balance, yet not to be mirrored as it can lack creativity and won't make it appealing. Lastly is the appeal. This combines all the principles to make it appealing to the audience, with each animator creating their own slightly different version. The style all depends on the story trying to be told and to the right audience. Although animations such as The Lion King and Tangled are two different stories, mood and time periods, they both use the 12 principles as it allows the audience to see a creative film yet still be somewhat believable in that situation. The Illusion of Life Disney Animation is the most relevant and needed book for animators and will continue long after technology has advanced.